What's going on, everybody? We got some breaking news. Once again, the crypto army has to swallow the actions of countries that don't want to see the future and embrace it. You remember how earlier this month we talked about Binance leaving Canada because of the recent crypto regulation development and how Crypto.com, among others, were still focusing and operating? Well, it is not Crypto.com. It's Bybit. Yeah, they just announced today that tomorrow, May 31st, is the last day they're going to be, you know, operating, letting people open positions or so. They're leaving and getting out of Canada. And we've seen a trend. Let me tell you the full story, guys. Don't go anywhere. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys, to keep updating you with the latest. Because whether they're good or bad, we share them and we help them make us stronger, right? Rock, right? Saying first Binance, now Bybit. You're literally a walking L to the, of course, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Now, this is the announcement Bybit gave today, May 30th. It has always been Bybit's primarily objective to operate our business in compliance. That's what you always have to do as a crypto exchange. If not, you're going to get penalized, right? That's common sense. In light of recent regulatory development, Bybit has made a difficult decision, a necessary decision to leave. Goodbye pause so um what's happening why in the world we've seen there's more exchanges now how many are left well let me see coin is coming up today i was well as saying crypto exchange bybit exits canada right binance recently announced as well now it's two top crypto exchanges you take a look at this one binance gone coinbase still kraken still kucoin i'm sure it's still Bybit, gone. So the top five, top seven, two are out of Canada. So far, I know, I mean, all of them work in the U.S., obviously, Binance.us, right? But you, you're looking at country above us here in the U.S. that are that, that's not really embracing. It's not really getting them here. They're leaving, leaving it to Dubai and other different countries, Singapore, Hong Kong, which they are like more than welcome because they're embracing the future. It's going to hurt. Justin Trudeau, you have no idea what you're doing. So they haven't said anything on Twitter. I'm looking at, they even had a conversation, a special AMA, right, with one of the co-founders. But I'm sure that they discussed in light what occurred. But this was sent, I'm sure, on a newsletter, letting everybody know what occurred. And I want to share it with you this one because I believe it really makes a lot of sense, right? So these are the instructions, right? No new existing, uh, like new customers, basically, and existing customers will have until July 31st to make new deposits and enter into new accounts. The company says nothing that they will be able to withdraw to reduce their positions after closing date. Bybit, which recently operated its headquarters, right? They open, they're leaving North America to leave to go to somewhere else joins Binance, among other crypto exchanges who have shut down operations in Canada amid the challenging regulatory environment in the country. So it is what it is, guys. Why is it happening? Well, definitely the more crypto oversight, the more difficult it is for a crypto exchange to operate. So it is good, but there should be something behind where, you know, they're not really letting Canada stay where they're at. Something Canadian government is not being you know welcoming with them and it's making them force them to go because still they're in the united states but you can only imagine the type of fees regulations rules and pathetic instructions there the canadian government is forcing them to follow we'll hear more about that i am i'm pretty sure that you know last year we heard crypto.com welcoming joining canada which is good i'm not sure if they are ever going to consider leaving Canada to crypto.com, that will be crazy, right? I mean, unheard of. Coinbase as well, Kraken. But if we are now seeing this domino effect, first Binance, then Bybit, some top exchanges, time to panic? I don't think so. But you can only imagine the behemoth of a time that we have ahead of us. What's going to be the law of the land? And which is the country that is going to say, crypto, you're welcome do whatever you want to hear. We're letting you guys dictate and drew, continue drawing the rules so everybody can join something that is crypto friendly, not crypto foe, that probably, you know, Canada and some 
people in the United States want to implement. You see the difference? We want to be crypto friendly and embrace the future. Thanks for watching, everybody. You've been updated and it's now spreading on Twitter. And now you know. See you next time, everybody. Like and subscribe. Peace.